Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the gated trigger feature of the Roden Schwartz FSH4 line of spectrum analyzers. This is a new feature they've just come out with, and it is on the any new spectrum analyzer that's being shipped. It's already on there. The older ones can have uh, can be sent back to get this retrofitted. Um, the problem we have with TDD LTE obviously is that you're looking at the downlink and the uplink on the same channel um, so it's very difficult to see any uplink interference particularly when you're close to the site and all you're seeing is downlink activity. So here uh, right now I'm looking at uh, the L10 carrier it happens to be the 20 MHz carriers between marker 3 here and marker 2 the activity on the right side here is from the adjacent um, TDD uh, 2.5 carrier. We happen to have carrier aggregation at the local site that I'm looking at. So right here I have a Viavi cell advisor and I'm going to use that to generate an interferer, an interferer in the middle of the carrier. So let me go back here and I'm going to turn that on. Now right here in the middle you can just about see a narrowband interferer that I'm generating. And you can see that that's very difficult to see because all you're looking at is the downlink. So that's where the gated trigger comes in. The gated trigger allows us to only look at the uplink time slots. Okay, so to get to that you go sweep, trigger, um, you come down to internal clock, you hit enter, and you set that to 100 Hz. Right. Then go back to trigger again. Now we're going to go down to gate settings. Now, these two red lines right here, that's your gate. And you can see right now the gate is stuck in the middle of the downlink activity. Over here, where you don't see anything happening, that's your uplink time slots right here. So the gate delay, we're just going to move that. The gate delay is the first red line. I'm going to move that over here to the right. You see, so it's within the opening time. And then the gate length is the second red line. I'm going to move that over here to the right. Not too far. There we go. Okay, so now our gate is right here in the, in the uplink time domain not the downlink. So we go exit. Now we actually turn on the trigger. So we hit trigger and we go down to gate a trigger. And there it is. Now we're only seeing the uplink time domain and there's my interference source. Quite clear and easy to see. Now um, after maybe five or ten minutes your spectrum analyzer, because it doesn't run off of GPS like the, the network does, it tends to um, lose its timing. And you're going to see something like this, where the gate delay moves over so it's right, it's, it's beginning, let's just say that the downlink is drifting into your gate. Okay, so when you go back and look at it on your analyzer, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see these narrow band spikes. Uh, popping up. So just to, to fix that, just go back to trigger, go back to your gate settings, and gate delay, and move your gate back in to that uplink time period, exit, and there it is again. Okay, I'm going to turn off my interference source right now so it goes away. Okay, hopefully this uh, is helpful.